sometimes the toilet seat sticks to my nutsack, uh, to my leg skin, <laughs> and my nuts go under the toilet seat. You know how many times, oh, I've, you know how many times I've crashed? You know how many times I smashed my oh. my nuts under the toilet seat because I've got up for a oh, reason? Oh, no. Yeah. More than and, once? Oh. I Now I hold them. Now, after years, I hold them when I get up to do anything, and then I sit back down. Yeah. I have a whole process. So, wait, you're at the front but, of the toilet? But I'm trying to tell my brother. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. That I instead of taking, you see, you see those containers of weed. Yeah. Those are all new. So instead of throwing them away, what I do is I have these flies that get caught in the bathroom. Yeah. And they get caught in like a glass, and they get all fucking retarded. You ever see a fly when they're in the glass by the sun? Yeah. They get like the the vision is lost, so they start getting close to me. So I take one of those cans and I leave the dust in it from the weed, and I take the fly. I'll hit it. Like oh, I'll just capture it. And I will take like a wing off, and I'll put them in there, and I'll close them in there. And I put holes on top of the fucking thing so they can breathe. And I just leave them in there. It's like experiment with weed for three or four days. Just the corners. <laughs> Dog, you know how flies I let out of there? They don't want to go nowhere. Like well, that. they don't have wings anymore. No, they don't have one wing. They can still fly part-time. You know what I'm saying? It's a one-way trip. Yeah, they can take a lot of lefts. Oh, my God. You have no idea how much fun I have with those flies. I got like three of them. I got two of them in there now. They've been in there for like well, two fuck days. Well, fuck it. What if flies live a week? Let them, let them have a good half a life. I take a little uh, Starbucks coffee stick and I'll take a little piece of shit and I'll feed it to him just to keep him alive and shit I, it's like a weed THC lumber what do you call those chocolate bars with nuts around them <laughs> like, they give away on Christmas what you, the little truffles so they get like a little weed truffle they get shit wrapped up with little weed but, and they get fucking crazy yeah, he's like days. Hannibal Lecter feeding the girl in oh, the well yeah. I'm just gonna have to ask my therapist about this <laughs> like I don't know what, <laughs> what is this now where do you get the shit that's not your shit yes, it is. no I borrow it from the guy next door <laughs> yeah it's my shit like the, I go next door and knock on his door you take a shit yet let me fucking scoop some up and feed it to so my pedigree. So water. you get a stick and you take a shit and you. You didn't take that test yet when you're 50 where you take a little piece of your shit and mail it in? But not to feed a fly. <laughs> you take that. That's why I don't use those Starbucks sticks. You ever go to Starbucks and have those wood sticks? Yeah, those yeah. are the same ones you yeah. use to cut the shit and put it and send it to the doctor's yeah. office. Why don't you just use your cat uh, shit? You have. Cat. Because that's not fair. They don't want cat shit. They want good human shit. It's like giving them. This is grass fed, reefer. This is free range you know, jelly. I'm, 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 I'm eating chicken from Kansas City that's been kicked, kicked in the cage. I, I take care of my flies. You know what I'm saying? I want my flies to have the best nourishment. Shit. They got to be strong. They got to be strong. Yeah. And then I got to eat weed for two days. There was like three flies. I turned over. The shit was gone. There was a little THC dust left. They just lived on my counter for like four days. I went away. I came back. There was one left. I don't know what happened to the two other ones. <laughs> what if the flies talk about you now? They're like, you yeah. should go in that guy's house. Yeah. He shows you a good time. He's got good shit. I don't give a fuck. That's what I wanted to I wanted to get the word out. Or don't go there. <laughs> don't, um, the, the main thing is to tell their friends, don't go in there. The guy's fucking medieval. He put me in a fucking... He was like the black guy from Pulp Fiction. He got four hard cracking pipe motherfuckers to come over here and go medieval on your ass. And I always take one of their wings off. I always take one of their wings off just to let them know who the boss is. And then I got to wash my hands 18 times because of the disgusting flies. <laughs> They're born out of shit. Oh, yeah. Dog. Oh, yeah. That's nasty. Yeah, we used to have cockroaches in oh, college, no. freshman year. The, the dorm rooms, because all the kids were drinking beer, and we wanted to get the five cents back, so you'd, you'd keep, you had three cases of beer cans or bottles in your room, you know, stashed under your desk, under the bed, and the cockroaches would come, and that's like a superfood for a cockroach, beer. They love that shit. And so there was so many on the dresser, I would take a, uh, a cup from the cafeteria, a clear, a clear cup, and I'd put the roaches underneath it. I'd catch them, throw it under, and there would be like a death match. It would be like eight or ten cockroaches, and they would they would they would start eating each other after a while. And they would they would they would lock off, and then one would die, and they'd all eat the body. Then another one would die, and they would attack each other. And that was entertainment for us for a year. How would you catch the roaches again? You just grab them, and then you slide them under the cup. Oh, so you put the cup over them? Yeah. And then you just put them into the jar. Yeah. How big were the roaches? What a bug! Big. No, not water bug big. You know, like I would say, half the size of your pinky. 
I don't know what it is or what it, since I was a kid I've hated flies. I fucking hated flies. I've been killing flies for 55 fucking years. Yeah. I hate flies. I'm good at it too. I yeah. got quick hands with flies. I, I zero. I can catch. Them. I can catch the big ones. I I the small the ones big, are tough. I can catch them or kill them. Yeah. I know how to. I know how to de-able them. Like how to like fuck them up a little bit. Yeah. Just to just clap them, and they're still alive because if you smack them, the shit comes out of the back, and they're dead. Then they yeah. don't live. But you just <laughs> gotta be able just to smack them, and I know exactly how to do it. I fucking hate flies, man. Well, you know the key is they say to come up directly behind them. They can't see behind them. So when they're sitting on the counter, take your hand flat and just move it slowly. And you can uh-huh. literally get, you can get within an inch of that fly. And then once you're there, they sense it's a cake. Yeah, but they sense, they have sensors. They sense movement. Movement. So you got to move so slow they don't notice you coming up. And then once you're there, you just, you just, you don't even have to move your hand that fast. Just close, just close it as you move in their direction. You got it. And then I slam it on the ground till they get dizzy. Ted Planet Kush, it drains the lactic motherfucking acid. People won't cop to it. The health specialists say, no, that doesn't happen, Joey. Yes, it fucking does. I got friends in Harvard, bitch. I'm like God Brooks. I got friends in high places, motherfuckers.